Hey there, my name is Alex and welcome to my very first Erin's Bra review video. Um, I've done videos on Neighbours and this is kind of a Neighbours video, but not really. I'll get into that. Welcome. So just some quick housekeeping like all my review videos. If you haven't seen the web series in full yet um, and you don't want to be spoiled on it, don't watch this video. There's going to be a ton of spoilers in this video. So if you don't want to get spoiled, go watch the whole web series first and then come back here. So today I'm talking about Erinsborough High. Erinsborough High is a spin-off web series from Neighbours. If you guys have been on my channel for a little while, you'll know I've done plenty of videos on Neighbours. But for those that are new, Neighbours is a Australian soap opera. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I have quite a love-hate relationship with Neighbours. I really do. I really do. I love it. But, oh, it makes me so mad sometimes. <laughs> so they announced Erinsborough High, which is, like I said, a spin-off web series of Neighbours. It's a five-part series. Um, each episode goes for, I think, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, and what really caught my attention for this web series and what made me watch the series was uh, Georgie Stone. She uh, is playing Mackenzie on Neighbours. I have talked about her quite a, quite a while ago now. I think it was maybe close to the start of this year, maybe the end of last year when it was announced that she was going to be joining the cast of Neighbours. Um, I was really excited and curious to see how they were going to tell Mackenzie's story. Um, if you guys don't know um, the backstory, I guess, if you guys haven't watched my video or know anything about it, um, Georgie Stone is a trans actor and she came on to join Neighbours and Mackenzie um, or to portray Mackenzie um, and tell her story of being trans. So yeah, I was very, very curious to see how they would tell that story if they did it well, because like I said, I've got quite a love hate relationship with neighbors. I have wanted to love it so much, but then, you know, I've been following the Shelly storyline and it's just been breaking my heart continuously and has not given me the best of faith, but I really, <laughs> I don't know Georgie, but I loved her. <laughs> I love what she's trying to do. I love, um, you know, seeing uh, a diverse representation on our screen. So I'm always here to, to see that. So she was the reason why I was curious to check out Erin's uh, Bra High because she was going to be one of the main characters on that web series. And I have to say, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed her storyline on it. I thought her and Richie were really cute. And I, again, coming from someone that's just kind of watched the Shelley storyline on Neighbours, Thought Richie was a douche, not gonna lie. Cause wasn't he a douche to Ellie or Chloe? Both at one point, some point, potentially, yeah. So I was like, oh, going into this web series, ah, hate him. But he and Mackenzie's storyline was super cute. I really adored it. I really, really adored it. They did it really well, I think. Um, and yeah, it just, it, it left me feeling really good and really happy and like, excited by the storyline, which I was hoping for, obviously, but kind of surprised by as well. So yeah, I would thoroughly recommend checking out um, EHI is the sort of abbreviated, the, the hashtag that they're doing on, on Twitter, EHI. Um, it's on their website, so I think it's 10 play for Australia. <sighs> I want to say my five in the, in the UK, but I don't think that's right. I don't know exactly what it is. I'll have links in the description. Um, but I thoroughly recommend go checking out this web series. Like I said, only five episodes. They're only 20 minutes long. I binged it. I, I did, wasn't expecting to binge it. Um, but I loved it. I loved the first episode. I was like, let's keep on going. So Georgie got me in. She she got me watching Erinsborough High. Um and I thoroughly loved her storyline, but there is another storyline that very much piqued my interest. And I'm very, very curious about to see if they're gonna, one, continue this web series um, and her storyline, slash two, see her on actual like Neighbours and see her storyline continue on Neighbours. And that's the story of Olivia. So Olivia's storyline was a bit weird. She was like, running away slash hiding slash just causing drama for like a good part of the web series and I was like I don't know what the deal with this chick is I really have no clue 
I didn't really care, to be honest. I was only there for, like, Mackenzie for most of the time. And, and, and so I was like, this chick's crazy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but then I think it was, like, the end of episode four. This fucking web series hit me with some unexpected gay and oh my god, I'm here for it. I am here for it. I will say right off the bat though, it's not great rep. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say watch this because it's really like beautiful representation. Like it's, it, it's not. <laughs> well, I mean the relationship. I'm not necessarily her, Olivia's character, um, because I've yet to see, you know, um, her really i'd like to see more to really get a better understanding of her but the relationship that is sort of portrayed in this in this in this series is not great not great at all it's very bad so this chick um has been like rumors flying around that she was sleeping with her like teacher um this old dude um and you know <laughs> turns out it was she is sleeping with her teacher but like the wrong teacher. She's sleeping with like a chick. She's hella gay. Oh man. Oh my God. I was not expecting it. I, I thoroughly was not expecting it. And I was so shocked. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. You've got me. All right. Like I said, it's a, it's a teacher student relationship. Not great. It's not great, but I will give them props for like, they're not trying to portray it as like a great relationship, you know, like in the end, the teacher gets arrested. It's a very bad, toxic relationship. The teacher is very, um, it, is the word manipulative, very, I guess, maybe controlling. It, she might love her in her own way, but like the dynamic is just not, it's just disgusting. Like it's, it's not a balanced dynamic at all. Um, and it's just, yeah. Ugh. So while it's a bad, relationship at least they didn't try and portray it as a good relationship at least they will acknowledge that it was a bad relationship but like i said i would really like to know more about olivia i want to see more of her on potentially neighbors i would really like to see more of this erin's rahai web series because honestly i thoroughly enjoy the web series way more than like the tv show neighbors like the actual show as a whole like i was watching all the episodes like and, you know, obviously more invested in Mackenzie and later on Olivia. But I was intrigued by all of the characters. Like, I, you know, I was paying attention to all the storylines in this web series. Whereas Neighbours, I don't give two shits about anyone else, like, outside of the Shelley relationship. Um... So yeah, I, I really liked how they did the web series. It was a really well done web series. The storylines were really good. I would like to see more of the web series. Um, yeah, I hope they make it a regular thing. I hope they get a season two. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And like I said, I would like to see those characters sort of in the Neighbours show as well, like the, the main show. Um, Georgie, I think it was just recently announced, is coming back as a series regular on Neighbours, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I um, I would really, like I said, love to see more of Mackenzie's storyline. Mackenzie and Richie, very cute. Would love to see more of Olivia's storyline. I really hope we get to see more of her. I am <sighs> so curious about all the sort of like, workings of that and potential pairings because I'm also like man they could have gone down a, like I mean obviously <laughs> I feel like it probably wouldn't have like hit very well with the Shelly fans but I was like they could have had that teacher hook up with like Ellie like two teachers here for that that could be a positive relationship instead of like the student teacher relationship but whatever the the chick's in jail now so that that ship's gone even before it came but like I said I don't think the Shelly fandom would have been too keen on that but yeah I um I would like to see more. I would like to see more is my general consensus of this web series. It was just a really well done series and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I highly recommend going to watch it if you haven't yet. But that's my thoughts on Erinsborough High. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, I'll have links to um, the websites if you guys wanna go check them out yourself. It's free, all five episodes are up, go check it out. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.